Okay, this is a comparison between the original 500 megahertz PowerBook G4 Titanium and the 2002 667 megahertz Power P PowerBook G4 Titanium. So this is the 667 megahertz on the right, and on the left is the the broken latch. The 500 megahertz power um, PowerBook G4. Okay, so let's look at the 667 megahertz model first. Okay, so when you look at the front, they both look pretty much the same. Same battery, except on the 667 megahertz, there's a there's this cover here, and on the, and which is not on the 500 megahertz, and Right here, there's a, a vent on the 500 megahertz that's not here, on the 667 megahertz. Everything on this side looks the same. It's like on the older one. Everything pretty much looks the same. Now on the back here is where the big difference is. Okay, so here's the back on the 667 megahertz. See here? nothing there modem microphone s video out dvi event two usb um an ethernet port and a 400 megahertz i mean 400 megabytes a second firewire port and there's the um ac power in and another thing you'll notice is that there's a vent on the actual flap itself unlike the original one where there's no vent there as you can see a vent on the flap right here on the handle but right here there's no vent okay so you'll definitely notice something different here unlike on the 667 megahertz model there's a infrared port right there, or an infrared sensor, I guess. And underneath the flap, we have a modem, an interrupt button, which they removed and replaced with the internal microphone port on the 667 megahertz model, a VGA port, whereas on the 667, there's a DVI port, um, the vent, which is not on the flap itself either, um, two USBs, an uh, Ethernet, and a FireWire, which is the same as this. And there's the power connector, which is also the same as this. Alrighty. Now we'll open up the computers. Okay, so here on the 667 megahertz, we have an escape key, brightness down, brightness up, mute, volume down, volume up, numlock LED, that I forgot to mention the keyboard removal thing, numlock button, um, F7 key, which is the, so the monitor, mo external monitor mode switching key, F8, F9, F10, F11, other keyboard removal thing and eject in F12 and down here we have a command button and an enter button well the keyboard on the 500 megahertz model is different as you can see everything up here pretty much looks the same brightness down brightness up same as that but here's where it gets different we have volume down and volume up whereas we have a mute button and volume up volume down volume up here and the numlock LED, the numlock button, it's the same as that, and then, and then we have the mute button right there, instead of the monitor mode, external monitor mode switching key. Then we have F7, F8, then the other keyboard removal thing, whereas we 
the other, the one on the 667 megahertz model is right after the F11 key. And then the eject and F12 buttons right there. Then, like I said before, these two keys are different. As you can see on the 500 megahertz model, there's an enter and an option key here. Whereas on the 667 megahertz model, it's a command button and an enter button, which are in different spots and the option key isn't there. It's replaced with a command key. Well, now let's get on to the internal components of the computer. So let me plug in. And by the way, I found this computer, the 500 megahertz, in the trash, actually. And when I first got it, it was it had the red red light problem, which I fixed. Easy enough. This charger. Okay, so obviously the 667 megahertz model is going to boot faster, but let's just turn them on at the same time just for that. Now the incredibly loud, loud hard drive you hear is from the 500 megahertz model, and it's not a standard size either. And as you can see, the screen of that one came on and started booting first, but I still think the 667 megahertz model is gonna boot faster. As you can see, the LA LCD screen is much brighter on the 667 megahertz as opposed to the 500 megahertz. You put the screens at the same angle, so. Oh, it looks like the 500 megahertz model is booting faster. Well, it looks like the 500 megahertz model booted a little faster, probably because the screen and it started booting before this one did. But anyway, they're both on the same OS, Mac OS version 10.4.11 Tiger. Um, let's go on to some differences of the two. Or let's do some similarities first. Okay, so they both have the sleep um, light there, which both is fully functional on both. Um, most, for the most part, they are pretty similar. And well, let's go on to internal components. Hundred megahertz power PCG four on that one, and six hundred sixty-seven megahertz power PCG four on this one. This one has three hundred eighty-four megabytes of RAM. This one has um um five hundred twelve. Okay, so let's go on to graphics displays. Now, on the 500 megahertz model, you'll notice it's in ATI Rage 128 Mobility, or ATI Mobility Rage 128, I guess. On this one, under graphics and displays, we have an ATI Mobility Rate on 7500. And as you can see here, Quartz Extreme is supported on this one, and not supported on the Rage. Now, um, let's go into system preferences. Both. And let's go into close system profile on that one. Close on this one. And let's go into displays. Now, as you can probably already tell, or you might be able to already tell, the menu bar on this computer looks a lot bigger than the one on this computer. Even though the screen is the same size. Well, as you probably guessed, it's due to the resolution. The 667 megahertz, we have a 1280 by 854 resolution widescreen, obviously. And on this one, we have an 1152 by 768 resolution. Once again, that's 1280 by 854. 
and 1152 by 768. So obviously you can see here the 500 megahertz model has a lower resolution than the 667 megahertz model. Now, this one has a CD. I actually don't know. Let me check. Hmm. Okay, so I go ahead, went ahead and went into the disk burning property on the um, system profiler, and it says no burning device was found. So that tells me that this drive does not burn CDs because I did use a DVD to install Tiger to this computer with this drive. I didn't firewire it. I so let's see what this one says. Okay, and on this one it does give me a drive that says CDRW and that it burns deep and burn CDs. So that's that. I can close the system profiler. And that's basically it. And they both sleep when their lids are closed. And the one with the broken latch and the 667 megahertz, the latch works. As you can see, the CD drive on this computer makes a lot of noise when it initializes, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and quit system profile and we'll shut them down at the same time. shutting down six hundred sixty seven megahertz one shut down a little bit faster but I mean it's at 500 megahertz it's not bit too big of a difference well it's basically it those are the comparison between the 500 megahertz original power powerbook g4 and the 2002 model 600 meg 667 megahertz model PowerBook G4s. I hope you enjoy this video.